Chloe. I hear hissing. If there's snakes around, I am leaving. Get me out of here. Erica, calm down. Snakes aren't that bad. To prove it, I brought you to the Lakeland Center for this year's Florida International Reptile Expo presented by Repticon. Reptile Expo? That actually seems pretty cool. It is really cool. On today's TSE News Show, reporter Derek Brooks is going to take us on a tour of this event. Callie has our school announcements, Lisa has our hot topic question, and we can see what our sports and FFA teams have been up to so far this year. Wow, we have a lot of work to do, but I want to learn more about this expo. Then let's head straight to Derek with today's top story. For the past two years, the Florida International Reptile Expo has made its home here at the Lakeland Center. This fun and family-friendly event brings top breeders and vendors from all over the state. Herpetology is the branch of zoology that deals with reptiles and amphibians. Herpers is the name given to those who are searching for amphibians or reptiles. There are plenty of herpers here, checking out the breeders and the vendors who are selling animals, cages, supplies, and merchandise. They also come for the advice and the world-class seminars given throughout the weekend. Some people have very strong feelings about reptiles, and I always like for people to come out to the reptile show and just see that they're another type of animal, like your dog or cat, but just adapted to a different type of life. We go to a lot of these expos because we love being able to show off our beauties. The whole family has one. Um, so we just enjoy coming and being able to see everyone else in their beardies and really get to meet the rest of the community. To get the snake is so cute, is really cute, and he's squirming everywhere. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory why we should all protect what we have, and that's because we breathe the air, we, we eat the food, and we share the world with animals that really can't uh, defend themselves. So it's up to us to be good stewards to the environment. So that's why I think it's important. The little kids come in and they get their first corn snake or their first little ball python and then they turn into someone like me. And five years from now you'll see them vending a show with a hundred snakes for sale and that's what it's all about, man. Next year's event promises to be bigger and better. So if you didn't make it out to this year's event, make plans now to visit next year. Derek Brooks, TSE News. You know, after learning more about these animals, they don't seem so bad after all. I'm glad you got over your fear of snakes, but that alligator over there is looking at me like I'm alligator food. While we take a look around, why don't all of you head over to today's Shark Scoop to find out all the important events that are happening next week at LG. Happy Friday, Sharks. I'm Callie, here with all of next week's important school announcements. Our wrestlers will be having their second meet of the season tomorrow against Lakeland Highlands Middle School. All of the action starts at 10 a.m. at George Jenkins High School. So come out and cheer on our talented wrestlers. Attention all FCCLA members. You will have a meeting next Tuesday from 4.15 until 5 in Miss LaFountain's room. This week's word of the week has been outlandish. It's an adjective that means very odd, unconventional, unusual, or strange. Try using outlandish correctly in one of your classes today. Your teacher may give you a shark bite ticket. The next PBS reward will be drawings from the grade level boxes in the main office on Friday, October 16th. So make sure you put a few of your tickets in the grade boxes so you'll have a chance to win a gift card. That's all the news you need to know. Callie Brooks, TSC News. Now here's Charles with this week's Shark Sports Update. Our first nine week sports program is now in full swing with boys and girls wrestling, cheerleading and girls basketball, all practicing and playing games throughout the week. Our girls basketball team started the year with a 10-9 win against Kathleen Middle and an impressive 29-5 win against Rochelle School of the Arts. Tuesday night, they brought home their third win after beating Bartow Middle 18-15. The team has been so successful this year because I've got a group of girls, 11 girls, that just work really hard. They play together. They're, uh, they're unselfish. And every time I've taught them something new, they've learned it quickly and then they've executed it. Our only home girls basketball game will be next Tuesday at Lake Gibson High School. LGMS students get in free, so come catch all the action at 6.30. After a two-year absence, our school once again has cheerleaders. Coach Delator has been busy having practices and preparing cheers for the upcoming sports events, including the basketball home game on October 13th. We've been working on a new routine, new cheers, chants, and pretty cool stunts that you guys will get to see soon. Finally, our boys and girls wrestling team members had their first matches last Saturday at Mulberry High School. These talented athletes showed off their skills against the wrestlers from Mulberry Middle. The thing that I most like about wrestling is that I could tackle people and not get like in trouble for it. We've been working on uh, crimson rolls, uh, punch kicks, and stand-ups, and conditioning overall. Great job, Sharks. We're so proud of your commitment to our ever-growing sports program. Charles Swanson, 
TSC News. Looks like our sports teams are off to a great start. You know who else is off to a great start? Our FFA team. Let's head straight over to TSC News reporter Sierra Cruz, who had a chance to talk with Miss Kennedy and the FFA officers about their plans for this upcoming year. Our FFA officer team started the year off right with the first place win at the opening and closing ceremony competition. My plans as FFA president is to help our officer team win OCC and to encourage chapter involvement. The FFA students hogs arrived on campus bright and early in the morning on Saturday, September 12th. Since then, students have been busy taking on this new responsibility. Cleaning pens, providing food and water, and exercising the hogs have kept the students busy throughout the week and on the weekends as well. Every day I make sure my pig's pen is clean and I make sure she has food. That's how I take care of her. The next FFA meeting will be on Thursday, October 15th from 4.15 until 5 p.m. in the Ag Room. If you are a member, make plans now to attend. Sierra Cruz, TSC News. What reptile are you most afraid of? Definitely snakes. What about you? Let me think. Alligators, bearded dragons, lizards. Wait, I just asked for one. Do you think the sharks are afraid of any reptiles? I don't know. I mean, our sharks are pretty brave. That doesn't mean they can't be scared every once in a while. That's true. Let's crawl over to TSC News reporter Lisa Leontis to find out what the sharks have to say in today's hot topic. A reptile is defined as a cold-blooded vertebrae. That includes snakes, lizards, crocodiles, turtles, and tortoises. They are distinguished by having dry scaly skin and typically laying soft-shelled eggs on land. Yuck. That's why I decided to stay safely here at LG instead of joining the others at the Reptile Expo. Today's hot topic question asks, which reptile are you most afraid of and why? The reptile I'm most afraid of is a crocodile because it can eat me. The reptile I'm most afraid of is snakes because they're basically stalkers. The reptile I'm most afraid of is the alligator because it has really sharp teeth. The reptile I'm most afraid of is probably a lizard because when I was little one bit me. The reptile I'm most afraid of are lizards because their tails grow back. I'm scared of lizards because they run really fast and they just creep up on you. I'm afraid of snakes because they're poisonous. The reptile I'm most afraid of is a snake because they're slithery. Glad to hear I'm not the only one who has a fear of reptiles around here. Lisa Leontes, TSD News. I've had a lot of fun here at the Florida International Reptile Expo. Me too. If you missed all the fun, make plans to attend next year. The expo will be right here at the Lakeland Civic Center September 10th and 11th of 2016. I'm Erin. And I'm Erica. Thanks, Thanks for watching TSD News.